Alright, 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 it is time for FE6 Hard Mode Bors Solo Chapter 5. This one actually goes by a lot faster than Chapter 4. I think it took me roughly half as much time, and like, one-third as many turns. Because, uh, I do the strat people usually only ever do in LTCs, which is just go directly to Dory. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And, uh, yeah. Usually people don't do it because the nomads are really annoying. But, uh, if you have a trained Boars, he can just tank everything. And that's basically what this run is, up until Chapter 8. It's just Boars tanks literally everything. And he's gonna keep tanking everything. And, uh, also I put Marcus in that mountain, or is it a peak? I keep- I always get it mixed up which one's the mountain and which one's the peaks. But you can see which tile it is he's in. Just so, uh, he keeps all the northern units occupied. Now we did get lucky on enemy phase. I had to reset a few times because boars usually missed on both of those nomads. He has roughly 60 hit on them. And if he doesn't kill at least one on enemy phase, and then the other on the next player phase, they will just be annoying and go after my other units, so I am pretty glad that he was able to take them out. But uh, now we just advance so that uh, we move, make the enemies move forward with boars. He's not in any danger of dying unless he gets hit by the mage m multiple more times. So, uh, multiple more. Many more. Twice or more times, I guess I should say. But yeah, he actually doesn't double that Nomad. Even with three higher speed than average, Boars does not double everything. So, uh, I'm very curious as to how Chapter 7 will turn out, if he'll even be doubling half the enemies there. I hope he will be. If not, we're in a bit of trouble. But yeah. Just want to take out all the bad boys. Sadly, we missed that 70, so uh... But yeah, funnily enough, Marcus actually gets a lot of experience just from dodge tanking on a peak, mountain, whatever. And yeah. Now we managed to take that Nomad out, so we're able to creep forward with all our, other, all our other units. And then we just put some Lances on Roy for if Merlinus somehow dies. So that we're not, uh, scrapped for Lances for Boars to use. But yeah, really not much else to say for this chapter. It's pretty straightforward. Though getting the Gant Lance is a little bit tricky. You do have to play decently fast to get it. Because, uh, Brigand spawned from the top left fort on turn 12 and onwards. Up until, I don't remember what turn. But yeah, Boars right now gets one shot by a killer axe crit from Dory. So we do end up using the Angelic Robe on him. I was planning on saving it for uh, for Wendy, but I figured it's probably better to just go ahead and use it on Boris since he is going to be soloing the next two maps and also half of Chapter 8. He'll be our only good unit in Chapter 8 because base Barth and uh, Wendy Wendy especially is going to be very worthless and require tons of babying, but... but yeah, Marcus is almost leveled up from this, which is pretty nice. But yeah, here I just do the math, make sure, yep, yeah, a Killer Axe crit definitely would one-shot boars since it'd do 39 damage to him. So we do end up giving him that Angelic Robe to use, and then we heal him. But yeah, Boris actually does a lot better against Dory than I thought he would. He's actually doubling them, thankfully. 
not with a javelin is his performance good, but with an iron lance he has 45 hit and is attacking twice, and with the silver lance he's doing good damage with 40 hit, I believe. Yeah, 40. Doing 15 times 2. So that's our best bet for dealing with them. And Boar's... his bulk levels are so high, he can take a killer weapon crit from an almost capped strength brigand. Which is pretty crazy. Though, it's not like Dory even crits him. Because, uh... Boar's has high avoid. His avoid is actually pretty dang ridiculous. 13, or actually no, 14 speed, 17 luck. Let me do the math real quick. That's 28, 35, 45 base of void. Yeah, yeah, 45 base of void. That's actually really crazy for an armor knight. Like, what? He's a dodge tank and just a tank. It's kind of dumb. But yeah, here Dory dies to nobody's dismay. Let me get the village with Shauna. We could seize this turn, but we don't just because I want to visit the shop with Shauna. For no real reason. I just wanted to see what I could buy. I think I end up buying one door key, just because why the heck not? Yep, I do buy one door key. So yeah, pretty short chapter. Only 15 turns. For this run, that's actually, like, record pace. But anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, with me on chapter 6. So anyways, peace out.